picked up some more Final Faction figures to review. Perimeter Defense, Huntra, and Decimator. As you have seen in my last videos, I really like these figures, and I like to find ways to use figures like this for my 12-inch action figures. Here's Huntra. You can pause the video and read the back if you want. This one is Decimator. Out of the package, Huntra comes with two missiles. Decimator only comes with one. Huntra has these cool looking insect legs that pivot on a single joint. This gives Huntra a small bit of articulation. The turret rotates a full 360 degrees. There's no elevation. You can load the missiles into the turret and press the button to shoot them. They have a range about two feet, maybe, but this is not a feature I care about. Decimator has three legs. It seems it has more articulation than Huntra. There's a small ball socket that pops out easily. The turret also rotates 360 degrees. You can load the missile and press the button and shoot it. It doesn't shoot very far. Again, it's not a feature that's important to me. The three missiles are different and they look like they're made for each figure. Huntra has two missiles and are a bit smaller than Decimator's one missile. I really like the paint scheme on these figures. Huntra's leg is a bit loose. Investigating it further, it looks like the peg has broken. I pulled the turret off. I like these figures without the turrets. I'll just super glue the leg back on. No big deal. Decimator's turret pulls off just as easy. I'll have to trim off the peg and sand it down. The sculpting on this figure is pretty cool. I also like the paint scheme. He kind of reminds me of a crab or something. The scale compared to my 12 inch figures, they're kind of small, but not to a point where they're unusable. I think they'd make cool cryptids or aliens. There was a movie that came out in 1997 called Starship Troopers. In this movie, soldiers of the future fought a horde of insects. It would be interesting to get a bunch of these figures and make an invading army of bugs. That'd be cool. Poor Hunter will be fine. I'll just glue him back together. I guess with something you can buy for buck twenty-five, you're gonna end up with some lemons. I would love to get more of these two figures. I think they'd make a cool photo story of an invading army of little creatures. Well, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed my review of these Final Faction figures. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment. It really helps my channel out. Don't forget to collect, inspire, and create. See you in the next one.